Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create Power Ultimate uh, flows that get triggered when HTTP request is received. Uh, typically, they are used for integration between applications when a HTTP request is received. It also helps you to secure your Power Ultimate cloud flows uh that uses uh this http http request uh trigger within the department so um let's get started in the so here in the in this i'm gonna search for http request trigger and here i'm gonna select when http request received here so here uh you're gonna see who can trigger the flow here right so and this, you have this op three options there. So any user within the tenant and specific user in the tenant and anyone here. So yeah, so this is useful when, um, and just to ensure that user in the same tenant as the, is able to trigger the flow and the specific user in the, in the tenant can also uh, trigger uh, this HTTP request. And also this is for anyone outside the tenant organization as well. So in this section, I'm, I'm going to use uh, select the option of any user in, in my tenant. So what I'm going to do with uh, this HTTP request when it tri gets triggered. So in this section, I'm going to add an action, send an email, send an email. Sorry. Okay, so here I'm going to select uh, an Outlook. Yeah, sorry. So I need to first to, to define the uh, the schema, the JSON schema here. So I'm gonna post uh, what I've already composed here, and here you're gonna see that um, I'm just trying trying to capture the the uh, the email recipient and the subject and the body of the admin as well. So I'm gonna select use a sample payload to generate my uh, JSON um, of uh, JSON schema there. So if I click on, okay. And here you're going to see that this is automatically generated for me. I have uh, here a uh, recipient and we have subject and the body itself. So what I'm going to do with this is to send an email, right? And uh, when the HTTP request uh, is called, right? So here um, I'm going to select the recipient, dynamic content. And here I'm going to select here, um, select my subjects. And also, I'm going to select uh, the body of the email as well, right? So what happens? So I'm going to save. As you can see here, um, the URL will be generated after save, right? So when I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on save. And so what's going to happen at the end is that um, this flow is going to get triggered uh, based on the uh, uh, the the request that's been made to the. Uh, to this URL itself, right? So I'm going to copy this URL that's been generated for me from the flow. And here, I'm going to keep it here for now. So um, this, I'm going to create a second flow, right? So here, I'm going to rename it first, which is HTTP requests, uh, requests demo. Okay. Let's click on save once again. So I'm going to create a second flow and the second flow and uh, which I'm going to use my URL here that has been generated from the HTTP request here, HTTP uh, trigger here and the flow, the second flow is going to trigger um, this uh, particular request here. And I'm going to create a new flow and click on automate and here I'm going to skip for now and here I'm going to go back to my classic flow and the verse. Okay, so here I'm going to select when a new record is added, right? So here I'm going to select um, add and going to select table, uh, travel booking, and here I'm going to select scope. So I click on organization. So what I'm going to do here is to add the HTTP uh http connectors so here i'm going to select http so in this so what is the method uh, i'm going to use here is going to be post because i wanted to post uh to the um to the to my table as well right so here 
what I'm going to pass here. Um, here is going to be the the endpoint in which we generated from the first floor, right? And here I'm going to post it here. And in the body, what I want to pass in the body of the HTTP, right? So I'm going to select here, and this schema that I generated earlier, uh, we select here and pass into the body um, as well, right? Yeah, so here I'm going to select uh, the body. I'm going to select this once again, and yeah, uh, so book request. Okay, and here it is my response. Uh, here I'm going to copy, and the body here I'm going to paste. And so as you can see here, uh, just remove this, try to remove some space there. Okay, so so what I'm going to do here is authentication. So this is very important, right? So what type of authentication method I'm going to use? Here I'm going to select at directory, right? So now I need this information, and we have a tenant, audience, client ID, credential type, and among others, right? So here. Uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, create app registration in the Azure portal. Then I'm going to get the details of uh, in the, within the Azure portal and pass it here in this in this uh, connector, right? So I'm going to go to Azure portal. So I'm going to create app registration. Click on app registration, click on new. And here I'm going to give it a name. Um, okay. A name flow app requests. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna click on register. So one that one that is done, once that is done, and here I'm going to uh, copy the tenant ID itself. Okay, so I go back to my flow. Here I'm gonna paste my tenant ID in here I come back to the flow. So I also have a client ID I'm gonna copy. And here I am going to uh, put my uh, client ID here. So what is the audience? So audience, you're gonna find this doc in this documentation. So if I go back to, so this is the your flow, um, um, URL actually and so here I'm going to select and here I'm paste it here so and credential type here is going to find uh, there are two options you have here the secret and certificate in this case we have a secret right so then I'm going I'm going to go back to my um, Azure portal and here I'm, I'm going to create a client secret right so here I'm going to select and then yeah, okay, I think give a description. Uh, flow request. Okay, so here I'm gonna leave it as this now, probably three months. Okay, click on add. So here, uh, what I'm going to do uh, after creating this, I'm gonna copy this and also save it here. Okay, right. So here, so I'm going to the next is to grant uh, the app uh, permission. So click on add permission. Here I'm going to look for Ultimate. Ultimate. Okay. So click on select. And here, and of course, I'm going to also select delegated permission. And here, is select user and click on add permission and grant admin consent click on that and then click on yes okay so so we're done with this at the moment so here if i go back to my flow say copy this access token say token uh, secrets then once you've done that right and that's it right so I'm gonna do is to click on save 
and here is our students to change the subject okay so yeah that's just fine so i added so you gotta leave at this right okay that is fine so what i'm gonna do so now i need to test the flow right so click on manually and select test here right and so i'm gonna go back to my app here so i select here um Okay, um, okay, select, right? So I'm, I'm going to select, save, click on save. Now let me go back to the flow and see if it's working, it's expected, right? Okay, and that's it. So the flow runs successfully. Right, so if I go back to, to my email, if I go to my email and let me see if I have actually have, um, and of course, yeah, I save this email from a request. So here, um, also, if I go back to the my first flow, and here, I'm gonna see how the flow runs, right? Okay. And as you can see from the first flow, I actually trigger this right. So I have this HTTP request, and uh, this was actually um, how you can call to get and also send an email right regarding this right. So this is how you can be able to uh, use HTTP request. I mean, create a part to me that can be triggered uh, from. HTTP request, all right? So you can use, use as many as sample you want, depending on your scenario, and also depending on your business requirement as well. Yeah, I hope you understand how this works. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and see you again. Thanks. Mm -hmm.